Hello and thank you for joining me for another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to land the A-10. My approach will be into runway 3 left at Nellis Air Force Base and that identifier is Kilo Lima, Sierra Victor. Today's landing weight is 41,000 pounds or approximately 18,600 kilograms. We'll begin on final where we want to configure for landing. Once below 200 knots you can safely lower your gear and flaps. We'll maintain roughly 170 knots and lower our flaps to 7 degrees using as much trim as we need to comfortably hold the pitch at 3 to 5 degrees. Next we lower the gear. With our spoiler set to flight, flap 7 selected and our nose held to 3 to 5 degrees, we'll continue to gradually slow down, lowering flaps to 20 degrees as we aim for our final approach speed, which is 130 knots. One interesting thing about the A-10 is that the approach is made with the speed brakes or flight spoilers partially extended. This requires higher power settings on final, which makes the A-10 more responsive because the engine's already spooled up, rather than near idle. As we near touchdown, it's important to note that very little flare is required to land the A-10. Most of your flare will be accomplished in ground effect, which you'll notice arrests the descent for you. Slightly above the ground, I'll reduce my power to idle, apply gentle back pressure and allow the aircraft to set down when it's ready. Your touchdown speed will typically be about 10 knots slower than your final approach speed, which in this case is 120 knots if our final approach speed was 130 knots. With plenty of runway, we'll simply roll out, not applying brakes until necessary. I like to return the trim back to a neutral position, or zero, to help me keep the nose down on rollout. Now it's time for you to get out there and try it for yourself. Be sure you subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials and content or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for dropping in and we'll see you in the next one.